uh, as it is becoming more interesting uh, with the speeches prepared speeches of course i would like to thank all of the toastmasters for giving uh, me the opportunity to being a uh, table topic master for this particular meeting uh, so uh, all right let's get started so let me share my screen first okay i will need the access or privilege to share my screen host has disabled the screen sharing no you can check right now okay let me all right yeah let me know once it is visible to you all hello oh, we do see the screen but we are now with us okay all right so who wants to guess who who is he is a famous tiktoker okay I don't remember his name but he's i know he's very popular yes so he is popular popularly known as popo on social mm -hmm. media and he is very popular for his expressions and the memes he is a 40 year old nigerian actor producer and author and he is viral on social media for his comedy and memes however he has a, he is also a founder of inspired moment africa that works to inspire motivate and flourish the mind of young nigerians and africans so today i'll show you the famous memes of him and you will have to tell the best possible situation that you can relate to this particular meme so i would like all of us to volunteer otherwise i would have to <laughs> pick up names obviously so let's start with the first meme of his mm. let me take this one okay who would like to volunteer for this what do we have to do here so we have to basically understand the situation or create a such situation or if it has already happened with us particularly uh, it is relating to this particular expression of him mm -hmm, or the meme mm -hmm. all right so yeah, let me try. start it again so that you will be able to see it very well and then create the situation and let me know first who will be volunteering for this all right let me pick up the names <laughs> toast master vaidhi <laughs> are you ready i am not clear about what exactly i have to do so i might need okay. an example all right so basically for example this i would give me the best example this is my favorite meme okay so i usually send this out whenever someone is annoying me or whenever someone is saying something nonsense which i don't agree so i am just i always share this particular meme to that a person's message or action i hope you have got clear now you have got the clarity whether or you want someone to participate and you can just wait for one person I, to i can okay. participate later i have right. to do a timer also so. okay so i would request toastmaster kalpana all right all so done. this all is done. the situation or meme for you thank you toastmaster anjali for that particular video and expression ha huh. i don't care i have come across this particular segment a lot of times especially when i am at the airport and it happens frequently with me i am standing in the line to get my boarding pass 
and the way they show me either with their luggage trolleys or with huge bags which they carry on their shoulders and have a tendency to roam here and they return around 180 or 360 degrees literally pushing me out of the line or you can say i go anti-clockwise or clockwise out that times when i have to cope up with that kind of a behavior and as a toastmasters i've slowly started to learn how to communicate and how to communicate non-verbally what do i do i actually stand there firmly and tell them with my eyes first. And then when they get the message, I spiral back into the line to my place till I reach the yellow line. And again at yellow line, I find that I am stopped either with someone pushing me beyond the yellow line or trying to overtake me. I again smartly give them a look and say, hey, that is a protocol. And once I finish it, I give the same kind of a look, pick up my purse the same way, walk with a stutter, look them up and down and say, there you go. There you go. If I had your contact details, this is the meme I'll be sending you. Thank you. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpana. It was really very innovative and funny, of course. Uh, so our next, I would like also to give this meme uh, to a person who is constantly asking me to do this, do that and showing all the responsibilities at uh, or, or the list of the responsibilities and i would like to just pack my bags and go from go out from that uh, place so that's where i can use that as well uh, the next meme is all right Okay, I would like someone to participate uh, or volunteer. Let me take someone's name. Toastmaster. I can do it, Toastmaster. Okay, Vedi, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so you want me to play it again? No, that's fine. Okay. So uh, today's story, which uh, Sunish mentioned, that I was in a project for eight years and uh, I was about to move into some other project, but uh, that didn't work out. But there was someone who joined uh, uh, who, uh, joined my project one year ago, and he was given a tech lead position. So I was a bit disappointed, and I just came to know that uh, I was not given the positions for one of the reasons was because I'm not a good speaker. So I have this Toastmaster, Toastmaster Anjali, who's my friend, and we just thought of, uh, you know, joining this Toastmaster Club and improve our public speaking skills. So this memory reminds me of uh, that, that I'm trying to tease my, uh, the new tech lead that you work on whatever you, you want to work, but I am currently polishing my public speaking skills by joining the Toastmasters Club. So, yeah. That was very well answered and articulated by the heat. And it's, yes, of course, creative as well. And uh, yes, sometimes people will say a lot of things. They'll make you feel aggressive or talk something nonsense or, you know, they'll make you angry. But you have to be at your own self, at your own pace. And yes, your time will also come. You can show them. So I would like to go for the next meme. And I will choose Toastmaster Wallab. So Toastmaster Wallab, are you ready? 
Okay, this is the meme for you. Thank you. In wonderful audio. This video reminds me every year. My, my, so I'm a married, being a married. My wife usually go to his other house every year during the vacation. So I think that she hadn't go, she didn't go to his, uh, his father's house for last I think three to two years because of COVID. But recently she went there, and after she uh, she went there, I think we had a lot of good time. You know, <laughs> this is the you know real vacations for the men that they get an opportunity to have a lot of meetings with friends, and you can enjoy. And you have a very good smile on the faces, and you can just say when who they were, when you see the mail, just ask them that uh, why are you so so much happy because. Is your wife has your wife went, uh, gone to your uh, his his father's house? You know that so that kind of uh, the happiness we get, and I I think I had a, had the same opportunity. I think two months back when my wife went to his father's house, and we had a lot of uh, you know good times because it is also true that being a man, you also support the female as well. But you also get your own time when see because whenever you are at home, you have to uh, spend time with your kids. With your, uh, you have to manage with the household many things after uh, reaching home while by completing your office duty. So I think this is a great time. Every man has and wish that every man uh, may have such kind of time. You know, me time. It is called me time. So that's all about me. Remind me my me time. Recently, two years, two months back. And over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Vallabh, and I hope your wife is not listing that. <laughs> oh, she's here. Okay. All right. All the best to you for your Sunday. <laughs> and of course, I would like, uh, I think we should enjoy the way he is enjoying for each and every small events and the happy moment that are happening in our life. So, yes. So, with this, I would like to move to the next. Uh, meme is this one okay so i would like toastmaster shalini has raised her hand oh okay hi toastmaster shalini you can go ahead yeah can i see the meme again yes <laughs> okay Mm, okay oh my god oh my god oh my god my reports card my report card is out and my parents just entered how do i hide it oh my god i need to hide it before they see the red marks oh oh mama is on the right on the right on the right just go a little more right so that i oh no she's sitting there i can't go now oh how do i see Okay, dad's moving towards the kitchen. He's going out. All right, one person out of the way. And now is my, oh my God. Dad has come, mom has come. And now he's got uncle, auntie into the And imagine how publicly humiliated I will be when they see all the red marks in my report card. And forget all that. I will not get my PlayStation that they promised me I will get after my exams. I need to get my PlayStation first. And then, well, they can go through the report card or probably I'll just, I'll just flush it down. Nobody will even come to know. And I will just tell them that the teachers messed up because one of them got COVID and the other one was traveling. They don't know who I am. But right now, I'm scared because I have to hide my report card. Oh my God, there they are sitting and chatting and gossiping and talking and having tea. But no one knows that little newspaper I've thrown on that card is hiding something very, very important and very vital, which is actually threatening my future. My future, which is whether I will have a PlayStation or I will have a detention instead. Oh, let me think, let me think. Is there a timer going on? Let me think. And, and, okay. I think now they're in the mood to gossip. And when my parents gossip, 
they are in a new world they don't care what's happening around them they can gossip on and on and on while i have all the liberty here now when i dance on michael jackson's song also they will not realize they are so engrossed in their gossip finally i'm tiptoeing and nobody knows and i have it in my hand and here i go thank god i'm seated over to you that's a wonderful situation you have created and i think most of us have faced this situation once in our life obviously yes and this reminds me also of one of the situation where our parents are praising us in front of our guests and it's overwhelming for us and we are like so shy we will be like why why these guys are praising me so much when they are beating me <laughs> when our guests are not here so yes that's a very good situation shalini now i will move to our last meme before that let me pick up a okay so i would like uh, jyoti pillai to speak no, on this particular meme toastmaster jyoti pillai i hope i am audible yeah okay yes so let me play this for you okay let me play it again all right Okay. okay just a second just a second i'm sorry to interrupt but, but i think the timer cards are not visible toastmaster vaidehi toastmaster yeah. vaidehi yes i think your timer cards are visible in the background okay. could you kindly yes uh table topic master uh, do ask each and every participant whether the timer cards are visible and ask them to pin it i'm sorry to interrupt it is just that so that everyone knows the time limit thank you over to you table topic master sorry i was talking on mute yeah uh, thank you so much uh, to master kalpana uh, yes uh, to master jyoti you can also pin the timers uh, timers uh, screen as well as you can talk about the me thank you over to you not able to see the timer card okay yeah yeah now i can see let me start what this small video presents is two friends many times in life we come across a situation where we are continuously running after something and there is no time for ourselves we are so busy so engrossed in our day to day activity the moment you get a little time and you enjoy with your friends whatever you are undergoing the drudgery that you faced throughout the week or throughout the month that celebration one small celebration rejuvenates you and brings you out from that daily rigmarole and it also gives you a kind of happiness that you have spent with your friends and also a very good way of looking at life it refreshes one person that is what i felt when i saw this two friends thank you over to you those master table topic master thank you to us master jyoti uh, yes i the situation you have uh, discussed or explained is where also uh, goes with this particular situation however i can see a person who is just stealing the food items which are very much lovable to that other friend 
without even knowing that person so somewhere we also have done with uh, this uh, this with our siblings and where we don't want them to see it but yes we want their food as well in our plate so yes uh, thank you toastmaster jyoti and uh, i have last meme who wants to participate for this particular meme let me take a counter okay acha <laughs> git yeah okay git has raised his hand yeah, yeah. yeah i saw him uh, so i would like to show this particular meme to him though it is not related to asita but it is very well uh, shared among everyone so let me play it again all right over to you toastmaster git during my course um, during my journey of preparing for jee and neat as everyone know we were a bunch of three friends roaming around all over the classes going through each and every class and everything but those three triplets were the same triplets as those three characters one was sarcastic one was kind of flirty and one was very sincere he was very enthusiastic towards chemistry now every time we were the three notorious people in each and every class so all of us knows all of us remember our teachers of our childhood right each teacher was like a character to us so each and every teacher had something or some action or some emotional expression that just gives us a bubbles in our stomach so each and every class most of our subjects were pcm physics chemistry maths so you can can understand how those classes were but yeah as you can see each and every one of us had that giggle in our stomach that that made us giggle and the sarcastic guy whatever question that was asked in the classroom it was taken indirectly from three of us and whole classroom was just looking at us and the only thing that we can hear from the teacher is and after that we were the only three who were standing out of the class and we didn't know what was happening in the class so yeah what we were doing without even doing anything expon exp without doing even doing anything you know out of the ordinary we were stealing the attention from the teacher what he was teaching so whole class was focused toward us and the teacher was there being sarcastic okay hi i am here i am teaching what are you guys doing why are you looking towards them so yes i can relate to that particular image of three friends having that particular moment in their day and yes those are the memories that we wish that can you know that we can steal those memories back thank you so much over to you table topic master that's the, the wonderful uh, past situation that you have brought in front of us taking us all back to our school days yes it's it was really very good and i think here i would like to uh do a, a i mean i would like to end my session and i uh, i'll hand over the session to toastmaster sunish thank you toastmaster sunish thank you toastmaster anjali for conducting that amazing session Let, let's give a warm round of applause to table topic master anjali thank you it takes lots of effort i'm sure you got as the gems of the memes but to find that five to six uh, you must have scroll through a lot of memes yes and <laughs> got that memes for which would be easier for all of us to speak so thanks thanks and it was a very creative uh, idea and i think i have been part of something like this for the first time where the table topic was based on memes so it was very nice to see the very creative way of conducting table topic session 